Hello, hello, and welcome once again, J76NY here. We are in trouble, U-48 and Captain Krautman are in trouble. Uh, last episode we got attacked uh, by an airplane, dropped depth charges, causing significant damage. Uh, we were on the surface working on repairs, and a uh, destroyer came up on us and started shooting at us. We did get down uh, below the surface to... I think we're sitting at like 108 meters right now. Yeah, just below 100 meters. Uh, we're moving fairly slow, but there is a destroyer up above us. Uh, so far, they haven't started pinging us or anything. Um, Captain Krautman keeps losing his hat. Not sure why, uh, but there he is. This very bald head. Um, taking a look at the map here, here's the destroyer, right here, and, uh, U-48 is trying to get away. Uh, we are going to continue on our course here now as slow as we can. Uh, we're going 11 knots, um, probably cavitating, I'm going to slow it down a little bit, um, so we can... Uh, get away from this destroyer. I do not want to go down any deeper than this uh, just because of the damage that we have taken. Um, we're missing spare parts uh, so we can't fix everything. Uh, depth steer station is damaged as well. Um, we've got that Corvette above us. Uh, sonar is reporting propeller noise obviously. Um Boat's buoyancy is zero, it says. That might not be good. Um, but we're going to uh, try and get away from this destroyer, the Corvette, here. Um, we still have yet to reach our patrol sector. That may have flown right out the window uh, with all the damage that we've taken. Uh, right now... Uh, they're performing maintenance on the uh, torpedoes or torpedo tubes. But I don't know if we can... Uh, we can get that fixed while we're underwater. So uh, we are going to try and get away. The good news is we did get our flooding under control. Um, and we're still working on keeping things nice and tidy. So u 48 is going to move along. Like I said, we haven't uh, been pinged by sonar yet, so very dark in the depths of the ocean. So we are going to try and get away. That's the name of the game. Get away. Uh, see if we can get our torpedoes uh, reloaded and continue on to our patrol sector, despite our damages. We'll worry about fixing them when we uh, complete our mission. Mission above men, right? All right, from the looks of it, we're not doing too bad getting away. They they did ping us a little bit when we were uh, making a move, but let's come to a stop here. Like they're coming back around. Uh, we may have to start moving pretty quick. Oh, he's heading off in the opposite direction. Let's go while we're in his baffles. I think we might have gotten away from them. That, that'll that be something... <laughs> something else, isn't it? Uh, we do have more contacts up here, though. Um, we're going to steer away from them. Uh, it looks like we got a bunch of destroyers that are surrounding us. Uh, how far out are we? From this contact here. 13 kilometers. Yeah, we're going to have to 
book it to get away from these guys. And then keep in mind our battery's at 58% too, so uh, we're going to keep going under the water for the time being. This guy's coming up. Um, but we can't really engage him. Uh, our patrol sector is due west from us, so once again, we're going to try and escape and get away from these guys and uh, make it to our patrol sector. I'm taking a look at Dr. Ernst Prine right now. He's uh, thinking about laying down and taking a nap, I guess. Dr. Prine has himself a fan or a uh, concerned individual. Uh, very popular, this fella. He's done good work. Uh, I'm going to put him in for a promotion. Maybe uh, season three will be Captain Ernst Prine in charge of his own boat. You never know. The rest of our crew are going about their duties. Our batteries are almost dead, but we are still uh, kind of in harm's way in terms of um, what we have around us. Uh, they're probably far enough away that we could come up to the surface and charge our batteries. 24 kilometers. Uh, what time is it? It's 4.50 in the uh, evening. Let's slow down. And then uh, come up to periscope depth. And then uh, see if we can spot any of these ships that are around us here. And we do have a contact smoke on the horizon off at about 235. Um, so far, that's the only thing that I've seen. Uh, hopefully, we don't have planes in the area. That would be uh, rather unfortunate. I think I managed to go the majority of Season 1 without <clears throat> taking any damage. Or at least significant damage. We did get depth charged a bunch of times, a couple times. And uh, there we go. Here's something else. Um, but I never actually took damage that had me questioning whether Krautman in U 48 would survive. And then we get attacked from uh, above. And that just went right out the window. All right, so we're far enough away that I think. Uh, I think we can come up to the surface. Let's send the report here. <clears throat> we got to get up to the surface and uh, charge our tanks. Uh, we are performing maintenance on torpedoes, so uh, that's a good thing. Whether or not we could fire those torpedoes uh, remains to be seen, but. U-48 is now up on the surface. We're going to be charging our engines. Let's, uh... Let's get that compressor working. Get work moving here. Uh, see what we can do with this crew management here. Asks... Gonna have him be the chief boatswain. Oh, we already have one. Watch officer there. Dr. Prine is a radio officer, as is uh, Carl Heint Schuster. Um, some of these guys probably gonna need some rest here pretty soon. Like Dr. Prine looks like he's uh. You could use a nap. Oh, 
Oh, we gotta cancel the alarm. There we go. All right. Go rest, Dr. Prine. Uh, we'll have Hoffman rest as well. Oh, he's already resting. Goes the captain. Oh, these guys like their sleep. We are recharging our tanks. And we are proceeding on, whoops, to our patrol sector. Whoop. Not if we change directions, we're not. But I'm fairly sure we just uh, dodged a major bullet. So off to our patrol sector we go. All right, during one of our standard uh, hydrophone checks, we did pick up uh, propeller noise from one uh, group of one. So we're going to make a uh, beeline for that contact right now. We're going to come up to the surface for now. Wechseln auf Dieselmotor. That compressor running. Kind of need someone up there to check things out here. Now let's have some of these guys play some cards. Guys that aren't on duty. Guess Dr. Prine doesn't play cards. Um, Alright, well let's drop down and do another hydrophone check. No stop. Gotta get one of these guys here off your poker game and go see if you can see something there it is right there <clears throat> so we'll set the course everyone's sleeping or playing poker except for Schuster um, I may have to hmm see how far away are they I don't even know if I'd be able to see them from here 29 miles all right, well, let's come up to the surface. Flank ahead. And uh, see what we can find here. Diesel compressors are on. Ah, look at us. Look at us go. All right, so if they're out there, we should be able to see them fairly soon. But I will be back if we, uh, if and when we come across this guy. Hopefully it's a lone merchant, so it'll be kind of good. After following the lone merchant for quite some time, Captain Krautman made the decision to turn back and re-enter their patrol sector. This will give the crew time to do proper maintenance on their torpedoes and make sure they're ready to attack any allied shipping they happen to come across within their designated patrol sector. Single steamer in Naval Square BE-536. BE-536. So that would be... Uh, let's find BE-536. Right here. 
Let's head that way. As fast as we can and see what we can come up with. It look, they'll probably uh, end up way outside the patrol sector, which I'm not going to do again. I did follow that transport out this way, but I decided against attacking it. It was a weird angle we were coming at, so I didn't choose to attack them. So we'll get credit for anything inside the square. Anything outside will get credit total tonnage, but not towards our mission. And uh, we're down to 54% uh, fuel. So, oh, halfway to our designated amount of miles inside the patrol sector. So it's all about the patrol sector on these uh, convoy killing missions. All right, our next wild goose case chase, BE-379. So BE-379. Let's see, 379. That's way outside. Oh, 379. E3, probably somewhere over here. Outside our patrol sector, nothing we can do about it. Alright, so we completed the required amount of miles in our patrol sector and didn't see a damn thing at all. Uh, we are looking at 38% fuel. Um, mission time, <laughs> mission's complete. Mission's a complete biff after the excitement of getting to the patrol sector. But uh, with the fuel and the damage, I, I think I'm going to uh, send U-48 back to La Rochelle and get some spare parts so we can fix our boat up and uh see what bdu has for us for the next mission maybe that one will be a little more exciting a little annoyed can you tell All right, <clears throat> David Peters gains points towards next decoration. Dr. Ernst Prines receives a new decoration, the Iron Cross Second Class. And his next decoration is on the way. Carried wounded Eric Schwartz to safety, saved the life of Eric Schwartz, and saved the life of Felix Schmidt. Good job, Doc. Carl Heinz Schuster receives a new decoration, the Iron Cross Second Class. Progress towards the next. And so does Gustav Marx. And Captain Krauts Fritzman. Oh my lord. <laughs> Fritz Krautman. I even made the name up and I messed it up. Like, hey. Knights Cross with Oak Leafs and Cross Swords. Sinking the Marigold Corvette, repaired critical leak in the control room, and completed the assignment. Uh, so we get $6,000 for that. 14 days, one hour at sea. Traveled 5,121 kilometers. Sank the Flower Class Corvette Marigold. And uh, didn't sink anything after that. Well, that was... Uh, U-48's first war patrol. So I think uh, first thing we're going to do is grab some spare parts. We are going to restock U-48. Placement parts. 
Well, all of them. Give me all of them. Well, 15 should be. Okay. Give me a medical kit. Just in case. Uh, fuel. We gotta fill up our tanks. And our torpedoes. Uh, we need... Take the free ones first. Now, it did say something that we had a, uh... A reward in the headquarters. Uh, let's grab some food so my guys don't starve. Uh, potatoes. It's always good. Cheese. <coughs> canned meat. Yum yum. And canned fish. Uh, do we have any bacon? Nope. Let's grab some bacon. No. We're plenty stocked with, uh... Items. What else do we have? Coffee. Oh, we got lots of coffee. We'll buy some more. Why not? For these things. Breathing apparatus. Some of our guys could have used that in the last mission. Alright, thanks. Alright, let's go to... The headquarters screen out here. Kapitän, das kann deine neue crew sein. It's not this one. Eventually we're going to have to replace our dead crew members. Um, bye bye. Talk to our leading Beim officer. Viel über ihre letzte Patrouillenfahrt geredet. Gute Arbeit. Yeah. Thanks, man. Uh, what's new in headquarters? Right. Okay. Hang on. So it says we can. Yes. Okay. Now we can start a new operation here. What do we want to do? Uh, snorkels. Radar detectors. Military stash. Early stages of development. Attempt to complete it before 8-5-1941. Detect these radars from large different... Oh, we could detect planes? Let's, uh... Uh, I guess we can't. Alright, well. Snorkels. Uh... Armored Conning Tower, G7E Torpedoes. Guess we can't accept this. Accumulators. Improved toilets. I'm not going to spend money on improved toilets. What's this down here? Sonar decoys? Can't do it. Alright, well, we're not going to do anything right now, then. Um, but I think we can... We're already running low on spare parts, but we are fixing the boat. Some things on the boat are damaged. No kidding. We're working on it. Uh... Well... Capitaine? No. Oh. Gonna have to buy more spare parts. Was brauchst du, Herr Kaloy? I want to upgrade my ship too, which is the torpedoes. 
Can I now upgrade my torpedoes? Already got the best listening equipment that we can get. It's back here. Apparently not. I wonder if we just have to, uh... Shoma. We just have to buy them. Yeah, I'm not seeing it here. We do need more, uh... Spare parts. U-boat's gonna be off for four days while we do all that. So... We'll speed through four days of time lapse. Okay, so what's damaged? Not tell me what the damage is. I'm wondering if we can upgrade now that we loaded the torpedoes. Apparently not. What's my crew's stress level? Apparently, we're not dressed at all. Was brauchst du, Herr Kaloy? This has got to be so exciting for you Schau guys mal. to watch. All right, we got. I think we got all the spare parts we can carry, and everything else. Storage room, deck gun. Large killer, armor piercing, armor piercing, high explosive. There we go. What I want. And the flat gun. Items, we got everything we need. Alright, well, goodbye. Alright, so. One more thing, and then I'm going to have you guys help me pick board him. Need an engineer. I need more engineers. Uh, well, let's give these guys a chance here. Max Meyer, Norbert... Norbert... Well, we can grab six of them, so grab six, six of these unknowns here. We can still grab two. Uh, what? All right, whatever. Asks the. All right. So here's where you guys come into play here. You are going to pick our next mission. Let's see what we can do here. Alright, we got another patrol. And we could go back to uh, where we were. This is a high... Difficulty patrol sector. This one is low. This one is medium. And this one is high. Uh, attack scop a flow. That came from, uh... From our last mission here. Passage through the Straits of Gibraltar. Rescue Kriegsmarine official. That's a low difficulty 
This is high difficulty. This is obviously high difficulty. Uh, mine laying. In it. Off the coast of Africa. So, I'm, I'm leaning towards a particular one, which is not this. So, don't get any ideas. Um, right now, I'm leaning towards Kriegsmarine official. Because it's low. And we get... Some pretty good stuff from it. But, you guys let me know. Patrol in one of these three sectors... Passage through the Straits of Gibraltar, or rescue the Kriegs Marine official. It's your choice. Whichever one you pick, I will do. So, we'll do that in the next episode. Anyway, if you like this one, hit the like button. If you have any tips or advice, leave those in the comment section down below. Uh, if you want to follow along and see how we do on the mission you pick, hit the subscribe. And we'll pick this up in episode number 5. J76NY saying thank you very much for watching, and have yourself a very good day.